Today on Signals Everywhere, we go over the basics of the Bias T and various SDRs on the market, and I'll teach you exactly how to enable it on the RTL SDR V3 from the RTL-SDR.com blog. And if you want to learn more about software-defined radio and radio communications in general, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. A Bias T, to put it simply, allows you to send voltage up through your coaxial feed line to a device sitting right before your antenna, but after the feed line itself. In many cases, this is an LNA, or low noise amplifier, used to increase the gain of a signal before it reaches your software-defined radio. Depending which software-defined radio you own, the Bias T can be incredibly easy to enable. In this case, we're looking at an RSP Duo paired up with the SDR Uno software made by the SDR Play team. Because this software was developed specifically for their line of SDRs, they've made it very easy to enable the Bias T by simply clicking on a button. Likewise, in SDR Sharp, you'll see that because this developer also manufactures the AirSpy software-defined radio, they have also made it very easy to enable and disable the Bias T within software. As you can see, when the Bias T is enabled and an LNA is attached, you should see a very obvious change in the noise floor as that LNA increases or decreases the gain coming into your software-defined radio. Unlike some software-defined radios like the SDR Play series or the AirSpy series, you'll find that the V3 from RTL-SDR.com does not actually have its own client software. It's more generalized and works with a large span of different software applications. Rather than having to rely on developers to add Bias-T support for their SDR to their own applications, it would seem that the RTL-SDR.com team has taken a slightly different approach. While there are some applications such as Cubic SDR that does have this support built in, not all SDR applications do. So an easy way around this is to simply have a small application downloadable from the website that will allow you to easily enable and disable the Bias T on your RTL SDR very quickly. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to set up now. The first thing you're going to want to do is download and extract those files from the website. Once you've done this, go ahead and grab your RTL SDR V3 and attach an LNA or some other powered device to the end of the connection, followed by your antenna. Once that's done, go ahead and move back over to the PC and we want to look for the bat file called Bias T On. Go ahead and double click that and you should see a command window that opens up and will briefly state that it has found a Raphael Micro uh, or software defined radio based on the RTL chipset. Once you've done this, go ahead and start your software defined radio application. Uh, in this example, we are using SDR Sharp. And once you go ahead and start up the application and the SDR, you will notice that you should have, assuming you're using an LNA in this case for your Bias T, a much higher noise floor as well as much more gain. So of course you'll want to make some adjustments once everything is up and running, but that is essentially all there is to getting the Bias T enabled on your RTL SDR V3. Likewise, you can go back to this folder and run the Bias T off bat file to disable it or simply disconnect your software defined radio, which will then uh, disable it in the process and will be ready for your next use. I hope this was helpful and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Big shout out to all of my patrons because without you guys I really could not do this. And I do want to apologize for this being such a short video. Um, I had some wisdom tooth work done and honestly didn't think I was even going to get a video out to you by Tuesday. So I really hope that this was helpful to you guys and I can't wait to see you all in the next one.